How's it going guys? Toasty Bros here and I'm here to introduce the second hand PC. So this is a low end budget office PC, but can it be turned into a gaming PC? Let's find out. Roll that intro. Alright guys, so this is the secondhand PC. We picked this thing up on Craigslist from a guy which we bargained down to a total of only $60 for this AMD Athlon dual core workstation type machine. It has no graphics card in it, has 4 gigs of RAM and an Athlon, I don't know the exact name of it, but... It's like an X2 at 2.8 gigahertz or something like that? Yeah, it's an X2 at 2.8 gigahertz, that's good. So, yes, it's a dual core system and we paid $60 for it. So that's pretty much the story of that. If you want to go ahead and open her up right here, these cases are so difficult. There we go. So you can look inside. It's, Normally it just flies off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you can look inside, it's a standard office PC with the directed airflow and just, just that's just how an office PC looks. Um, but this it, thing's actually on right now. And it's actually on. It's like dead silent. It is. Like you don't hear anything. Like just moment of Like you could probably hear the sound my foot just made. Yeah, I know. So this is the Office PC, aka secondhand PC, yep. and we're gonna go over what we're gonna be adding to this build. So first off, when we were looking at this build, we realized that the graphics card that we're using, the 6850 from Sapphire, an old card that I use, and you can also pick up for about, what, 60 bucks or so? Yeah, 50, 60. 50, 60 bucks, that's why I see online secondhand. You, these are a really old cards, so you probably have to buy it secondhand. You can't buy it new nowadays. Um, we realized that this needs an external six pin power, so we decided to go pick up this Insomnia power supply, which is the power supply Jackson actually uses, but is a higher, a lower wattage version in comparison to what he has. So we picked this one up for 30 bucks. So in total, we have 60, 30, and we're gonna say 60 for a total of $150, and we're gonna turn this machine into a gaming machine. So that's the whole goal here, $150, gonna make the best gaming PC we can, and we're gonna jump right into benchmarks with the PC without the graphics card, and then transition into with the graphics card. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so we currently have Counter-Strike Go up, and we are doing the settings for it. We're gonna test out all the games at 1280 by 720, we're gonna attempt to do all the settings the same, although when we put the graphics turn, we might just go all out on some of them and go ahead and put it at uh, ultra settings or high or very high, because I'm gonna tell you right now, this is gonna run very poorly. We have no graphics card, we're running integrated graphics, a dual core processor, so what do you expect? All right, so we're just gonna do some offline with bots. We're just gonna do everything, uh, do dust two, and go.
All right, guys, so this um, doesn't even really need any gameplay. In all honesty, the menu is running at what <laughs> FPS right now? We're at 6 FPS. We're at 6 and FPS, and we're on all those settings on Killing Floor 2. Um, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. We need this graphics card badly, so I think that's enough for the benchmarks. And what we're going to do next is throw in this GPU and new power supply and go at it. So we'll be right back. We're going to go at it. Alright guys, so we got the PC put together in record time. Um, it really was, about, about five minutes maybe? Besides, oh, besides the fact the fan freaked out because it got something stuck in it and it won't <laughs> boot in. That's another issue, let me just reboot that real quick. Yeah, yeah, Matt kind of a... Uh... <laughs> the, the fan's fine guys, I promise you. No, you know, this is the second time he's done this. I, I, I tend to do this sometimes. He literally, but... look, you see the spot where I'm pointing at? He, you guys probably saw him, he shoved all the cables there. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I'm not used to this office PC life, guys. Right, But right. Um, as you can see right here, we are booting into Windows. Uh, you can see it's loading Windows right now whenever Jackson gets the focus in and shit. I'm, I'm good. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so Windows is booting up. We're going to install the drivers and run our benchmarks on the game and see if the secondhand PC can be used as a gaming PC for, like, 150 bucks. So... All right. All right, guys, so here is the secondhand PC rocking a 6850, a 400-watt power supply, and a dual-core AMD processor for a grand total of $150. So what we're going to do is run through the same suite of games that we did for the first time before we upgraded with the new graphics card and see how it performs. I have a good feeling about this one. So I will fly. 
Alright guys, so that concludes the second hand PC build. I thought it genuinely did pretty good. What, what do you guys think? It was it awesome, was yeah. It was, yeah, it was, like it was a pretty good improvement. We went from like 0 FPS to... We got like 60 in some games. So, I mean, come on. do we recommend you do this if you can buy one on Craigslist and you just want to play games? Go right ahead. For $150, this was a great buy. As long as you can get a dual core, you can just add a GPU, maybe a power supply, and you're good. And you or a quad, quad, quad core. Eventually. Or a quad core. Yeah. See, no, it's pulling yeah. out Just a quad core. If you can find one of those on Craigslist. That'd be even fun. better. You'd have double the cores of this. That means double the performance. Duh. So, don't totally count on looking on Craigslist. Yes, there's sometimes you'll get some iffy stuff, but you know, you can always look around and see what you can find. Be sure to test the PC before you get in and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you all later. Peace out. Jack it up.